Greetings YouTube, my name is Undamned and this is my first episode of a series of videos I'm calling Stuff from Japan and it's basically um, rare or interesting video game or video game memorabilia items and um, this week I wanted to cover Eugene's Rockman Dash series and um, this was a series that came out around 2001. These were gashapons, so they came in little capsules, and um, they were 200 yen a pop, which at the exchange rate back then would have been less than two dollars. So not bad. Um, they're fairly fairly detailed. I like them. They're um, they're somewhat poseable. Um, some of the some of the appendages on characters other than Rockman aren't that movable, but you could kind of fudge them around. But the heads kind of bobble around, so that's kind of cool. Um, so we got Tron, Yuna, Sarah, Roll, and Rock. And these have a few alternative versions. So Tron here is pink. You could also get an orange version of Tron. And um, Roll, I guess you wouldn't call it an alternative version, but she also comes with a hat. So you can, you can actually swap out her... Uh, ah, her head just fell off. Um, you can actually swap out her face and put um, different hair on it on the back of her face if I can do this properly and voila she's got a hat so um, you can do that um, same thing with Rock you can swap out um, his helmet I'm not going to do it because it's a pain in the butt but you can swap out his helmet for some poofy hair and um, Rock as some of you may know um, he came as um, uh, sectioned off, so to say, um, with different um, capsules. And this is the, the general breakdown, is you would get, um, so we got some little Kobuns too, these are, these are awesome. So basically in some capsules you would get um, a Kobun and the left appendages and then a Kobun and these are actually um, mirrored so the left and right appendages um, are actually identical and then you get another Kobun with um, the torso and head and such so you would have to luck out and get um, this and um, two of these rather than uh, any number of those so and once you have those you put them all together and you've got Rockman Dash and he's um, highly posable um, he's pretty awesome so that's that. Um, as far as the Kobuns go, um, that's actually, as much as I like the Rock figure a lot and some of the other figures, the Kobuns, there's um, a bunch of them. I have, I have nine unique Kobuns. Um, to my knowledge, there are twelve, um, but I have, I have nine here, and um, I think they're pretty rad. Um, the head doesn't really have it has a hole it doesn't have a socket so there's really no point at which the head fully engages so you can kind of lift it up a little bit and then you can kind of move it around because there is a ball on his neck so you can you can kind of pose him you can move his arms a little bit when you get him it's just like this um, so there's not a whole lot to him and um, I would like to get the full set I think that'd be pretty freaking cool um, as far as Kobun merchandise in general, there's a crap load of it. Um, as far as Kobun himself, um, this is by far my favorite Kobun toy. Um, there's keychain versions, there's, um, there's these three inch versions that came out as a promotion for Tron Ni Kobun, or um, for you non-Japanese title pe people, um, Misadventures of Tron Bon. Um, and which that game had a ton of promotional merchandise it's crazy but those three inch models um, I'm not a fan of uh, the legs uh, aren't separated like this they're kind of molded together and I, I don't know I just don't like them so these are by far my favorite um, as far as Eugene um, Dash series stuff um, so like I said earlier these came out around 2001 about five years later when um, Namco Cross Capcom came out Eugene made another set of figures, and um, two of those figures were um, Roll and Tron. 
and there were two different releases of each of these. Um, this is one release where it comes with this uh, chunk of metal and this bolt thing, and Tron can sit on that. It doesn't look very comfortable, but she can sit on that. Um, and then um, Roll can stand here and kind of lean on it like that. Um, there's another version where this bolt is replaced by a Kobun. Um, so for your Kobun collectors, um, the Kobun that comes with these is actually different than these. So don't think you can build up an army of Kobun that are identical by buying both the Namco, or I'm sorry, yeah, Namco Cross Capcom stuff and these. These are exclusive to the um, the uh, the original Eugene Dash series. So um, these, as far as comparing, let's say, roll to roll between these two, um, there's you can't see it very well in the video probably, but there's actually some some shading on on the legs, and there's actually a lot of detail. Um, let's say like on the boots here, um, the paint on the uh, original one's just kind of gray. This one actually has a metallic sheen to it. Um, so detail-wise, the Namco Cross Capcom one is highly detailed. Um, she's not very posable. She's kind of stuck in this bent over position. So that's kind of limits your um, usage as far as um, posing them in, in little dioramas or what have you. So you just got to find something to have her lean on. Um, as far as Tron versus Tron, um, uh, her clothes in the... Namco Cross Capcom, or they're kind of dull. Um, it's not quite the bright pink of the of the originals, um, but like I said, there's some shading. Um, you can kind of see on her on her leggings. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's some some shading on her legs. Um, on the originals, it's just a flat brown. Um, heads are both posable, um, so I like them both. Um, the eyes are a tad different, but I think they're pretty cool. So, anyways, um, these are the two different versions from the sets and then we've got all these guys um, so that's pretty much it not sure what I'm covering next episode but uh, be sure to check it out because I'm sure it'll be fun and entertaining thanks guys